So I thought we'd take a little break today from hunting for whitetail and head out to Africa and do a little bit of Cape Buffalo hunting. Well, it looks like we're going to start off with this nice seven right here at about 100 yards out. I think we'll try and take him down with the bow. We're zeroing for there, 85. That should be about right. We'll have to compensate for the win, but that looked almost perfect. And he tipped over. So about 100 yards out, and oh boy. That was actually not bad. So that should take that one down as well. But that was a really cool, about like 100. Oh my god. Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> Never mind. Is there another one right here too? There sure is. <laughs> we just stacked up about 3k buffalo. That one might have been a little bit high, but it looks like that should take them down. You know what? There. That'll put him down. And you know, since we have this really nice 7 out here at about 290, I think we'll go for him too. We'll hold for kind of the top of the lung. And that should have dropped in there nicely. Well, this one was a female. This is the one that was right underneath us. So I don't remember if this is the one that we hit twice or the first one. No, this is the first one. That was a 7 double lung, liver, stomach. At 96 yards out with a bow. As you can see, that worked again pretty much perfectly. Zero in for about 10 yards closer than what the animal actually is. With the hawk edge bow this is. And it's pretty much right on the money. So this is the second one that we got. And I thought we might have been a little bit high. And it looks like we were. But I believe it's only a female. And honestly, can we not pick it up? Oh boy. And well, if this one's going to take off here, we might as well. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get. Oh, yeah, that thing's definitely going down. And the thing is, I would say that's a female. Uh, I'd be right. It's a female left lung at 95 yards out, but that should have been double lung. We didn't get hardly any penetration there, but it was almost a perfect shot right there. So nice. And this is actually the one that we took a 320 yard shot, I believe, at the other side of the water hole. So that's going to score 130 gold, but that was a 296 yard. Uh, didn't really drop too much. Shoulder blade, left lung. If I had to guess, I'd pretty much guarantee that this is a diamond. 269 yards out, and that's a huge four. Let's get on it. I guess I'd be wrong. That's going to be a 335 gold. Ended up with a double lung spinal cord shot at 265 out. I really thought that that was almost guaranteed diamond. Man, it's so hard to tell if they're actually going to make diamond or not as a four female. You know, I would like to hunt some Cape Buffalo and we are going to do that as soon as this Cape Buffalo decides to leave us alone here. That potentially... Well, what did we hit? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was spinal cord. There's no tracks or no blood, so I really don't know. And I'm just going to hold you all the pain of messing up all these shots here on this one. But yeah, we got the big guy down right here. So let's hop down and take a look and see how he's going to score. I honestly think we might have made a heart shot. Uh, ended up with split double lung vertebrae. So it was going like right for the heart, but it looks like we were right over the top of it. Seven yards away at 137 score on that big old mythical Cape Buffalo. Not bad. Well, that's going to be kind of cool. That is a giant nine legendary diamond Cape Buffalo. And that is actually the big horns. This is when I'm really glad that we have a tripod. So we can set up and kind of overlook this whole valley down here. And hopefully we can find whether or not the Cape Buffalo are drinking or what. I do believe it says they're going to drink until 2200. But it doesn't really look like they're drinking. So we spotted the nine way over here. Oh, right there, right there. Okay, we got him out here at about 160. Man, he's on the move. So it's a good thing we slid over. 
But we almost got to get over a little bit quicker, though, because he's getting kind of far ahead of us. I really don't know where he's going. So it actually looks like he's kind of turning around, going back that way now. But I think what he's just doing is kind of looping around in a circle because he doesn't really know where he wants to go. So maybe if we can kind of try and get to the middle. Oh, perfect. I don't think he's going to be drinking. Can you imagine if he was drinking right there? Yeah, no, he's not. He just, he doesn't really know what he wants to do. So like I said, we got to try and get to the middle of where he's going and see if we can cut him off. Just got to get a little bit closer here so I can see. Maybe crouch up so we can double check. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay. He's 100 yards away, coming right towards us. And apparently so are a bunch of Gemsbach and everything else, but I think we should be alright if we slide over just a little bit. We're gonna have to kind of time this just right. Don't, 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 don't. Seriously, Gemsbach. Okay, he spooked, but I don't think that that would have spooked. 65 yards away. Oh, he just took off. That's okay. He should come back. So I think what we'll do is we'll set up our tripod here and they should come back in. All right, guys, there he is. We found him for, I think, like the fourth time now. But this time, I think we finally have a good setup. He's out there about 140. We have our tripod set up here. And he should come back this way to get a drink. He definitely knows something's up. But we have a decent spot here, so he really shouldn't notice us too much. I mean, he's in range. 80 yards out. He's definitely in range. But... Oh, yeah, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Okay. It looks like he's going to come to right about this point here, which is about 40 yards out. Oh, my God. Here he comes. Oh, my God. He's 60. He's 60 right there. 60 yards out. I can see him. We're going to draw back. Oh, centered him. Oh my god, that thing should be smoked. And he's down. What a giant. 60 yards out on the walk. Holy, that thing's huge. But here he is. That was one heck of a long hunt. And he's going to score a diamond. 152.85. And honestly, I don't even know if that's the Bighorns. Now I think about it. It looked like it was the Bighorns from a long ways away. But he's still a diamond. Let's take a look at that shot though. 47 yards out. Double lung, stomach, liver. With the bow. I mean, definitely going to get this thing mounted, but I don't believe he's the big horn. I think he's like the small, uh, something about to walk right past us. That's going to be a small. Oh my God. There's something right there. That actually might be a mythical. Oh, tried for a heart shot. I don't even know. What we hit. Did that even get vitals or that sounds a little bit bigger than a kudu? I think that's a female. I can't tell what that is actually. But we're going for a double lung. It looked like a perfect shot, honestly. Let's watch. Yeah, it's down. So whatever it was, it was definitely smoked. Oh, right there. A couple more just kicked up. Hopefully we got a decent one. Well, I guess we'll find out what this is. That's actually the mythical. Oh, nice. 138 score. Double lunged him at 15 yards out. Man, 
he came so close. I didn't know what it was. I didn't have time to spot him, but I mean, he looked to be like a decent male. So here's the Cape Buffalo that we got, and I tried for a heart shot, but we must have hit something decent because he only ran like 50 or 60 yards. Uh, that's another mythical. Ended up with a right lung at 15 yards away as well, but what is with this shot placement here? It looks like Okay, it's saying that we hit it from this side, but obviously we took a shot from this direction here. Oh man, we went right underneath the heart. Look at that. I mean, I'll still take it though. 137.7 gold mythical. Well, since we still have our tripod set up here, I figured we might as well spot this area out and see if we can't find something else. Got a decent Gemsbach right there, 340. But that is another massive mythical out there at about 360 yards out, which is... A very long ways so we're gonna have to wait till he turns a little more broadside but then again we could maybe sneak one in there and catch the heart but while we're waiting for that mythical to turn broadside I'm gonna show you where we've been hunting today well technically the term would be tonight because it's nighttime but we're at the uh, northwest end of the map over here a lot of people hunt here for Cape Buffalo but I've never really hunted here at night so the zones are from 1900 until 2200 and over here, there's one from 1930 until 2200. This is actually the one that the diamond came off of this one. 1930 to 2200. We have our tripod set up right here. And we got that myth, or not the mythical, the diamond. He came right past right here. We got him at 50 yards out. Five medium. That's him right there. 250 out. That could work. Well, if you would turn back, it would definitely... I mean, it was kind of going for heart, which probably should have held higher. But you know what? That sucker's going down. This one's going to score 144 gold. Oh, man. So that thing barely made diamond? I thought he was way above diamond. I guess not. But this is a massive mythical here. I got him at 250 yards out. And I knew we were going to get smoked by something. So, we were actually not that high. I mean, I thought we were going to drop low, but we were pretty much right on the center of the lung there. Not bad. And a uh, bunch of cash as well, but that's going to be it because we're about to get taken out. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.